Hello and welcome to MATLAB course. This is Sam. In this video, I am going to talk about array indexing. For example, if we have this vector, and what if if we need to call this element, or we need to change this value? How if if we need to call several element, for example, this element, or even change this element? How about if I need to delete several elements? So how to do that? So in this video, I'm going to cover first index and modifying one element, indexing and modifying a range of element, kind of several element. Number three, indexing and deleting one or several elements. Let's start the video. Before going to the indexing, just a quick review about how to create an array, because if we create an array, we can modify or delete the element from that. And the details can be found in the video number four about the array creation or the like lecture number four. For example, we have five ways we explain to create array. The first one is the square bracket with a list of number. For example, we just write open square brackets and put the number we need with a space to give them kind of a row vector. The second one is using the code. So we can write first number and then the spacing and then the last and all separated with the colon. Or sometimes we can just remove the spacing and only consider the first and the last number. In that sense, the spacing would be one. For example, if we write the start is two and the step or the spacing is four and the is, is 10, so it will be two plus four, it will be six, six plus four, it will be 10. The third way is the line space. In the line space, we mentioned the first number and then comma, and then the last number and then comma, and then the number of element. And in some cases, we can neglect the number of element and only write line space, first number and last number. In that case, the number of element would be 100. An example for that, if we write line space from two to 10, the start and end, and the number of element is three, so the output will be two, six, ten. And uh, we take zeros, ones, and i. The zeros, if we write zeros of n, it will create a square matrix with n rows and n columns or element as zero. For example, we can write zeros of two, so we'll have a square brackets of two rows and two columns or element as zero. And we may write like the zeros of m rows and n columns, so the number of rows is m and the number of columns is m. The, the, for the ones, we it's similar to the zeros, so the ones, if we write ones of n, it will create a square matrix of n rows and n columns. For example, if we say ones of two, it will create a two rows and two columns matrix and all the elements are ones. And we can specify the number of rows and the number of columns by writing ones of m rows and n columns so the number of rows is m and number of columns is n and uh, the third one is i if we write i of n it will create i matrix which means that this is square matrix if we write for example i3 it will create the three by three matrix all elements are zero except of the diagonal members it will be one the last one is random and random i. So the random is creating the random between 0 to 1 and random integer, it will create the random integer between 0 and i maximum. For more details about all of these, as I mentioned, please go to the video number for the array creation. Let's cover the first topic, which is indexing and modifying one element. So we already create the arrays as we show. So how if, if we need to modify or indexing one element? So for example, the indexing mean that we need to refer to a place of an element. What's the mean of refer to a place? For example, here we have a row vector and here we have a column vector. And here we have a matrix. And inside all of these, we have value. So we have value, 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 value here. So these are the values of the vectors and matrix. But this just a value. What if, if I need a position, for example, this value in which position? 
or this value in which position. For example, for the row vector, we have column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4. And we can give the index. So the index, it will be kind of a number. A number started from left to right. So we write 1, 2, 3, 4. So the place number 3, this is the index. So this is the place number 3. It have a value of minus 2. And the place number 4, it have a value of 5. So it kind of, in one cell, we have the value which is told, and we have the place or the, the, the index for that cell. And for the column vector, we have row 1, row 2, row 3, and every row, they have a value. But how about the index? So the index will be the number. So it would be 1, 2, 3, and the number start from 1 in the top. So we usually start numbering from left to right, top to bottom. So it would be 1, 2, 3, 4. For example, in the cell number 1, the value is 4. In the cell number 2, the value is 7, etc. For the matrix, so the matrix should have rows and columns. Here we have 3 rows and 4 columns. To index or to refer to a place, we should use the rows and the columns. For example, we can write for the index. So we usually start with a row and then the columns. So this is row number one and column number one, row number one and column number two, row number three and column number three. So it coming from the row and the column and we have the position. And for example, here this position, it means row number three, column number four. So the index is three comma four. So the index for the matrix is kind of the, the number of row comma number of column and if you check with the numbering we started with the row from like one two three it kind of top to bottom one two three and for the column we write one two three four it kind of from left to right so the number the one one cells is the top left corner for example, in the position 3, 3, so the third row, third column, the value inside that is 20. So now we understand what is index. So the index is mean the place or the position where in, in this vector or matrix. And if we know the position, we can know the value. And the most important thing is when we index the vector, for example, row vector or column vector, we just use one number, which is the element number. But when we index the matrix, we should use the row number and the column number separated by comma. And the index usually started from 1 because some programming language, for example, Python, starts from 0. And uh, the next is the column 1 is the left column. For example, we started from 1, 2, 3, 4, so that we start from left to right. And the row number one is the top one. So we started here, one, two, three, etc. And let's index. So if we need to call now, what we should do? To index or to call for the vector case, we just need to write the vector name. For example, if we write vic, open parentheses, and then m. So it will refer to the element number m in the vector name vic. So this is the vector name and this is the element name in the case of vector. And in the case of matrix, we need to write the matrix name and then the number of row, comma, the number of column. If we write mat, open parentheses, m, comma, n, it will refer to the element in the row number m, column number n, in the matrix name mat. And please note that you should not forget the comma between the rows and the column. Let's take an example. If we start with a vector, as we mentioned, to call the vector, just write the vector name and then the element number. For example, if we write x is a line space between 10, this is the start, 50 is the end, and number of element is 5. So the output will be 10, 20, 30, 40, up to 50. And this is, we create five element array. And what if, if I say x, which is the vector name, 
and then open parentheses and write number four, which means that in the vector x, we need the element number four. So as we mentioned before, that, that when we index, we index from one, two, three, four, five. So the element number four is this one. So if we write x of 4, the answer will be 40. And uh, to modify, so now we just index. It means call or just refer to the place where the element number 4 is. And when we place, refer to that place, it gives the value. So when we said x of 4, it gives 40. But what if, if I need to modify the element? For example, the value 4 I, I need to change. Or if I need to use this 40 in some operation or function or any other things. To do so, we should first refer to the place and then we can use the element later. For example, if we say x04 equal 500. So x04, it will refer to this place. But equal, it means assigned. So we need to change the value. So if we say x of 4 only, it will give 40. But if we say x of 4 equals 500, it means that the fourth element should be changed to be 500. So the output will be 10, 20, 30. And element number 4, we change the value from 40 to 500 because we assign the value. So if we need to change the value, modify the value, so we should use assign or equal sign to modify the element value. And the next one is, what if, if I need to use the, the, ele the, the force element in the, the vector x in some operation? For example, if I say y equal x of 4 multiplied to 2. So x of 4 now is 500. So the 40 already deleted because we changed that. So the, the force element now is 500. So if I say y equal x of 4 multiplied to 2, it will be 500 multiply to 2, the answer will be 1000. So now we understand the concept about the vector. So the vector, just vector name and the element number. And just if we do that, it will give us the, the value. If we need to change the value, we should use equal, as equal sign to assign the value. And if we need to use in some operation, just refer to the number. How about that case of matrix as we mentioned we should mention matrix name and then row number and the column number for example if i just wrote x equal to one three five semicolon to have that second row minus one zero minus eight so this will be our matrix this is two rows and three columns and what if if i said i need the element in the second row third column so this is column number one, column number two, uh, sorry, row number one, row number two, and column number one, two, three. So if I need row two, column three, it would be this element, which is minus eight. So if I write x of two comma three, it will give minus eight. What if, if I need to modify or change to modify something, we should refer to it and then as use a sign. So like if I say x of 2 comma 3 equal minus 2. If I say equal new value, it means we are going to change the value. So x of 2 comma 3, this element, we need to change that value to minus 2. So the value already changed from minus 8 to minus 2. All other element is the same. And as I mentioned, a sign or equal sign used to modify the element. And if we need to use that element in the new operation or the function, for example, if I say z equal to x of 2 comma 3 to the power 4. So like the element 2 comma 3 of x now is minus 2. Minus 8 is already gone. So it would be minus 2 to the power 4. The answer will be 16. So this is the answer. Let's practice. Let's go to MATLAB and check these things. So the question say, create a vector array named A, so this is A, with the following value as wrote here. And then we need to modify the value 
of element number five. So if we number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is element number five. We need to change the element number five to be equal to 125. So we need to change that. Simply, after defining A, we can say A of 5 is equal to 125. Let's go to MATLAB to check that. So here's the, like the, the MATLAB window, the main window. And I will click open to open the live script of today. And I don't need this window. I can minimize from the action icon like click minimize minimize and the last one minimize and this is a code and this is a so i will define a so a equal to because there is no relation between the numbers 3 4 12 and then 1 9 so we should write as a like that like open square parentheses and write element so i can write 3 space 4 12 and then 1 and then 9 and then 8 and then 5 so now we define this element the seven elements and semicolon oh i don't need to suppress let's kill it and then let's write a of and then we need to change number five if i just write a of five let's run the section to check first if we run the section we define that and it say that the element number five that we call the answer is nine so it means this is nine but if i say element number five it became now 125 and then let's run the section so now all the elements 3 4 12 1 until 9 we change it to 125 and then 8 as it is and 5 as it is so we change it let's go to the second practice for the second practice we need to create a vector array named B, this is B, with the following value and modify the value of element in the fourth row and third column. Fourth row, it means one, two, three, fourth here. And third column, it means one, two, three, it means 300. We need to change the 300. So we need to change this value to be equal to five. So we need to change 300 to be five. But this is very important note. Don't write all the element explicitly. So I will write that. And please note one of the common mistakes between the student is, for example, if we comment the command window, and let me dock here. So if I, many students, they doesn't write the answer directly in the code part. This is code. So I can write here and have the answer directory in the output of the live script. They prefer to go to the, the, the command window to execute it here and then paste here. Okay, let me do as a student do. For example, we need to create this like the matrix without like write every element explicitly. If we check the first row, so the first row is 6, 9, 2, there is no correlation. So we should write the element as it is. And in the second and third, they are zeros. So we can use a zero function with two rows and three columns. And the last one is 100, 200, 300. So we have the start is 100, end is 300. We can use the number of elements three with the line space, or we can use the semicolon with the increasing of 100. So the student will write B equal, and then we can write open parentheses, and then we write six space, nine space two this is the first row and then semicolon to have the second row and then we write zeros and then open parentheses and then write two rows three columns so now we defined that two that these two rows semicolon to have the third row and we can write 100 this is the start increasing the the the, the spacing or the distance is 100 up to 300 Close the square brackets and press enter. Now we successfully create the array. The, the mistake is the student doesn't copy this part. So they doesn't copy the first row. So if they copy this one and paste it here and then run the code here, 
the code already run and it's correct. But the problem is the student is copy all this part and paste it here. And if they do that, if we run the section now, we will have invalid error because you don't need to write this matrix. This is the output. This is kind of the echo from the array. You don't need to copy the output. You, ju you just need to copy the comment. And some common mistake, the student keep all of these and comment the code. So they come here and they, they comment the code. So this is the original code. You don't need to comment. All of these are wrong. You should delete this and then remove this one and keep only this code. So if I run the code to check, I will have the output. It means this is correct. Okay, let me minimize the comment window. And let's check. The question is modify the element in the fourth row, third column to be five. So I will say B of fourth row, third column, and then I will say equal to change, and then I will write five. And then run the section. And please check that the 300 now, which is in the fourth row, third column, change it to B5. So now we easily can change one element without any problem. Let's go back to our presentation to continue. This is the answer, and this is the answer for the second one. And in the second topic, how to index, it means call or refer to the place, and modifying a range of elements. So it means several elements, not only one element. And in the vector case, now we have two possibility. The first possibility say that if we say Vic is a vector name, and then we write just a column. This will refer to all the elements. So if I write Vic of colon without any numbers, it means all the vector. But if I need a certain element from the element number one to element number, for example, five, I should write Vic from M colon N. It means from the element number M through the element number N. For example, I can write from one to five or two to six or any numbers. So this is the range I need to call. Let's take the example. For example, if I write X, it's from one with increasing two, to 11 so it would be 1 3 it increasing 2 5 7 9 and 11 and if I need to say X of 2 to 5 it means that X this is the vector name from the element number 2 to the element number 5 and this is the original element so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 if I say from 2 it means this one through 5, it means this one. So we need this range. So we need 3, 5, 7, 9. So if I write this, I will have 3, 5, 7, 9. And if you need to modify the element, you should first refer to them and then assign them. For example, if I need to change the value between 2 to 5 to be all zeros, so I will say x of from 2 to 5, which means from 2 to 5 here, and then I will say this is zeros with one row, four columns, so because we have four elements. So now we change all these four to become zero. And the first and the last element we didn't modify, so it kept as, a, as it is. And please remember again, if you need to assign, you should use the equal sign and you should refer to the element first. And how about the matrix? What if, if I need to call the range? But in the matrix, because we have rows and we have columns, so we have several possibilities. Let me explain this possibility and then let's take an example. For example, if I say mat, this is the matrix name, and then all the rows, you remember, we usually use that comma. All the rows, comma, and the colon, it means all. So if you use colon, it means all. So it means all rows, all columns, or it will refer to all rows, all columns. For the second one, if I say like that column, comma, n, it means all rows, comma, column number n. So all rows, column number n. If I say 
M comma colon. It means that refer to the row number N here and all the column. How if, if I say like all rows and the columns between M to N? And in this one, it means that rows M to N, comma, all columns. And the last one, we say that rows from M to N and column from B to Q. Maybe it's confusing, but the example, it will make it clear. For example, if we create the following like matrix, which consists of five rows and six columns. So one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have five rows and six columns. And the question is, if we say like A of all rows, comma, third column. So this kind of intersection between rows and columns. So let me use the, the two different colors to, to understand that. If I said all rows, it means all of this range. Because all of this row. And if I say the column number three, column number three is this part. So the intersection between this box and this box, it gives me only this part. So it means this element, 5, 6, 9, 12, 15. Yes? Let's check again. How about if I say A of the second row or the columns? So second rows, it means this part. All the columns mean all of this part. So the intersection is this part. So it means that the second row, all the columns mean 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. What if, if I say from rows 2 to 4 and all columns? So row 2 to 4, it means this range. So we need to cover from row 2 to 4. And all columns mean these all columns. So the intersection part is this part. So this is why we write 2, 3, 4 to all columns up to 12, 18, and 24. How about if I wrote from rows 1 to 3 and column from 2 to 4? So 1 to 3 for the rows, it means this part. And column 2 to 4, it means this part. 1, 2, 3, 4, so it means this part. So the intersection between both is this part. So we write 3, 4, 6, 5, 6, 9, 7, 8, 12. So it kind of, what is the intersection between several rows and several columns? It's based on your preference. Do you need all or some of the element? Let's take example to understand. So we have this A vector, which is similar to the previous, and we need to modify the value of the element from fifth, if we write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need to change from fifth up to seventh. So it means this range. To be equal to, so instead of nine, eight, five, it would be minus four, minus three, minus one. Let's do that in MATLAB. If we go to MATLAB, and this is the second part, indexing the range of element. So we have the question and we need to change from the fifth to the seventh with this value. So to do so, let me copy the A from up because this is exactly the same value. This is A. This is A. If I just run to check, I will have A, which is seven elements with three, four, twelve, one, nine, eight, five. And then I need to change the element from fifth to seventh. So I will say the name A from fifth. And then we need this is vector. And to select the range, we should use colon. So we should write colon to sevens. 
If I just right click that, it will just refer. So if I run, it will say 985985. But if I need to change the value, I should use the equal sign. And then I will say use minus 4, minus 3, and then minus 1. And just run. So now all the the the, the four element is the same, but the fifth, sixth, seventh change to be minus four, minus three, minus one. And for the second example, we we need to create a vector array named B with the following value, which is this P without right explicitly. This is the same as the second question. And we need to modify the element in row number two to four. So this is two, three, four. So we need to change the element in row two to four and the column two to three. Column two, it means this part, three, this part. So the intersection between two to four and like two to three, it means these six elements, zero, 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 200, 300, with this value, which is minus one, minus three, minus nine, minus nine, 10 and zero. So to do so, let's write B, which equals to and then open square brackets and then six nine two semicolon zeros of and then we can write two rows and three columns and then semicolon and then I will write 100 with increasing 100 to 300 and then run the section once we create we can change I can say that B of from 2 to 4, so the row 2 to 4, comma, to give the range or the give the column, the range column. So we will write 2, 2, 3. Let's run this section to check just if we refer. So it says 0, 0, 0, 0, 200, 300 here. So we need to change this value to be minus 1, minus 3, minus 1 minus 3, this is the first row, semicolon, and then minus 9, minus 9, semicolon, 10, and then 0. Let's run the section now. And now we change this value to become the new value. So in this part, we learn how to kind of change or refer to and change the range of elements, several elements. In the vector, we need to start from when to where with that column and that like that matrix we have the row bar and the column bar in the row bar we should we should mention from where to where comma and then in the column from where to where let's go back to our presentation to check what's the next topic this is the answer and this is the second question with the answer so the last topic is indexing and deleting one or a range of elements. So like that, to delete an element, so you should assign this element, one or more, to be equal to the empty square brackets. So we should use assign, and then instead of giving number, just give the empty square brackets. For the index is similar to what we did for the index. So if we need to index one vector element, so we just write the element number. And if we need to select one element in the matrix, we just need to mention the number of rows and number of columns. And if the case if we need a range, so we should select from where to where in the vector or the in the matrix, we should select the range for the rows from where to where, comma, the range of columns. For example, if we have this vector, which means x of from 1 with a step or increasing 2 to 17, so it would be 1, 3, so the increasing is 2, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17. And I just write the value here and then the index here. So the number of element is 9, it started from 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 9. And the first question is, what if, if I need to delete the element number 2, this element, we need to delete. So we just write x of 2 equal to empty square brackets. So now we can check that the element number 2 was removed, and we have only 1, 5, 7, etc. to 17. 
and the total number of element through the index is became eight so it means this element permanently deleted from that vector so what if if i need to delete the element so this already deleted but what if if i need to delete the range of element so if i need to delete a range of element for example x from four to six so I need to consider the element four to six. So now I have two matrix, two vector. Which one, the first or the last? Of course, not this one, because this already was old and it was deleted. We need to consider the new one. And for the new one, the, the element number four to element number six, it this range. It means we need to remove this nine, 11, and 13. So if I say x from four to six is equal to square brackets, so I assign the range we need to delete to empty square brackets. So it means this range will be deleted. So we will have only one, five, seven from this part and then 15, 17 from the last part. And the number of elements now became five because we removed three elements. And to delete that one or a range of element in the case of matrix, so it is the same, just set that one element of the range of element to be equal to empty square brackets. But this is very important note. If you need to delete row or a column, you should delete entire rows or entire column. You can delete one element from a row or one element from a column. In the matrix, you should delete the entire or the whole rows and the whole columns. So for example, if we have this matrix, which is with several numbers, which is three rows and five columns, and we have the index here. And if we have this matrix and we say that the delete the all rows and column two to four, let's take the intersection. The intersection is this part because all rows is this part and column two to four is this part. So the intersection is this part. So we need to delete this highlighted square part. To delete, just put equal to empty square brackets. When we delete the left element, which means this part and this part will be here. So the mat element, it became this part. But if we try to delete only one element, for example, this is the new matrix, consists of three rows and two columns, and we try to remove the element in the row number two, column number one, it means this element. If we need to try only one element, it, it will give error, because as we mentioned, you should delete the entire row or entire column for the matrix case. So this is just confirmation about the node that we should delete the entire row or entire code. And let's do the practice. Again, the same A matrix we need to create, and then we need to delete the first three element of A. First three element is mean D spot. So we need to make A of from one to three, we write A from one to three equal to empty square brackets. Let's go MATLAB to check how to do that. This is the third part, and here we need to remove the first three element. So I will write a, a equal to, and then square brackets, and give, write three, four, 12, one, nine, eight, and then five. And then after that, I will write a of first three element from one to three will be equal to empty square brackets. Let's run the section. And now the first three elements was removed and only from one to five elements kept here. And for the, the second question, this is still B. This is the same B we already created before. Don't write all the elements. We need to delete row number two and three and column number three. So we need to remove the column two and three. It means this part, all the column. And also we need to remove the, the column number three. It means this part. So we need to remove two rows and one column. All of these we need to remove. So let's write B again. So B will be six, nine, two, semicolon, zeros, of, 
two rows, three columns, semicolon, 100 to 100 increment, and to 300, and then run the section to check is it okay. Yes, it's okay. So we are going to save. But we need to delete two rows and one column. So we can do that at once. We should do first delete two rows and then delete the column. So I'm going to write B of. We need to delete row two and three. So we write two, two, three, column three, comma, and all the columns. So it means we need to delete row number two and row number three for all columns. And I will give as a square bracket. Let's check this. If we remove the zeros rows, we will keep the first and the, the, so, the fourth rows, which is mean 692, 100, 200, 300. And we need to remove the column number three. So I will say the B of, we need to remove all rows for column number three. So I will write all columns for all rows for the column number three will equal to square brackets and then run the section. So we will have, this is B after deleting, we will have only six, nine, 100, 200. So for today, the, we covered how to index or to refer to one place or several places. And then once you refer, you can modify them you can use them in some operation or you can delete them. To modify them, you should put equal, equal sign to assign them to a new value. And if you need to delete them, just assign them to an empty square bracket. That's all for that video. Thank you. Bye-bye.